Hello, my name is Tanya Solberg, and I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist at Coastal Hillside Family Medicine. It's important to watch what you eat when you have diabetes. This will help you maintain a healthy weight, control your blood sugars, control your blood pressure, and your blood cholesterol levels. One easy way to plan your meals is to use the plate method. In my hands, I have a nine inch plate. By choosing the right size plate, this can help you get the right portion size. We're gonna start out by drawing a line down the middle of the plate. We wanna fill half of the plate with non-starchy vegetables or salad. By filling half of your plate with non-starchy vegetables, you'll be getting plenty of fiber, vitamins and minerals, and other antioxidants. This would be foods like spinach, red pepper, carrots, could be in a fresh form, frozen, or even low sodium in the can. On the other half of our plate, we're gonna divide it in half again, and we're gonna think of filling a quarter of our plate with grains or starchy foods. Most of you probably know that these are the foods that have carbohydrate and can raise your blood sugar. That's why it's important to eat the right portion size. These would be foods like um, ready-to-eat cereals, foods like oatmeal, and if we do eat rice and pasta, it would be better if we had brown rice or we had whole grain pasta. And finally, the other quarter of our plate, we are going to fill with lean protein foods. We know that these foods aren't going to raise our blood sugars as much, but it's important for us to eat lean proteins because these will affect our cholesterol levels. Things like chicken, fish, and turkey, lean pork, lean beef are options. You could also fill it with uh, non-animal sources of protein, foods like nuts, seeds, nut butters, beans. Um, and remember that fish, we recommend you eat twice a week, and it can include things like tuna fish. Not included on the plate are two other food groups that are very important, and one of them is dairy. It's important to include two or three servings of dairy every day, things like 1% milk or yogurt, plain yogurt or low-fat yogurt. You also could include non-dairy sources of milk, things like soy milk, almond milk, um, into your meal plan. Eating fruit is also an important part of your meal plan. You should eat fruit at least two or three times a day. Some people feel that fruit has too much sugar. They're not sure if they should eat it. Yes, you should. I would recommend that you eat whole pieces of fruit rather than drinking juice. If you do drink juice, limit it to a small four ounce glass. The plate method is an easy method for planning your meals. However, I would suggest that you schedule an appointment with a registered dietitian nutritionist so they can give you an individualized plan of what you should be eating. You can make an appointment with a registered dietitian nutritionist by calling your primary care doctor's office.